Hello nerds, I want to do something a little different today. We're going to look at a couple of board games and specifically we're going to compare and contrast two games looking at their component quality, their uh, what's inside the box essentially, what's the value. A lot of folks have asked about the value of board games. They're like, man, board games are 50 bucks. Like, I, I don't want to spend that much on a board game and really not know what I'm getting. And first of all, I would say, listen, if you think over the life of a game, over the years of a game, if you play it 20 hours, you spend 50 bucks. That's 250 an hour. That's not bad. That's pretty good value for your for your entertainment. But I understand, like 50 bucks is a lot and games are different. So kind of understanding what's in a box, you want to get a good value. So I would say there's a lot of stuff out there to help you learn. But then I want to kind of give an um, an apples to apples comparison here. But before we talk about Terraforming Mars and Scythe, I want to tell you a little bit about what I'm saying. Here's another game, Dominion. Play it all the time. Look how it's organized. It's a card game, and the box comes with an insert, and all your card decks are laid out. So that's pretty simple, just a plastic insert. Here's another game. This game is fun, plays in five minutes. But look at this. It comes, and there is a little, it's like mouse pad quality. Here's the game board. It rolls up. All the pieces fit in slots and it is a little rectangle. That's really cool. Here is another game for comparison. This is Zombicide. This was a Kickstarter game. Kickstarter games are known for, you know, they they break in money so they get upgraded components, upgraded components. But you can see here, I mean, this stuff is nice, but I mean, I have these painted min miniatures. I worked on it for a while and I just kind of toss them in a box like an animal. So I show that to say that I'm not picky about what things are. I just wanted to feel like you get good value. Here's the final game before we get to Scythe and Terraforming Mars and compare those. Look at this. This is a game by Stonemeyer Viticulture. Look at this. The insert, all the cubes are separated into a nice little plastic insert. All these Play mats are super thick, and look at these wooden pieces. And so the reason I, oh, and the little glass beads. So the reason I share that is to show how nice board games can be when you crack open a box. So here is just a nice simple box, and you go inside and you're like, hey, that is really nice. And so that gives an emotion to you, right? So here are two games. The reason we're comparing these two games, last year, these games were considered the best two games of the year. So tons of lists. Is Terraforming Mars or Scythe? What, what is going to win game of the year? So these two games are fun, great, fantastic games. So it's not comparing like how they play. It's what's in the box. So for Scythe, $80 manufacturer suggested retail price. So an $80 game, Terraforming Mars, $69.95. So $10 cheaper, and you know if you shop around, maybe you can get them on a discount, but you're paying a lot for these games. So let's look at Terraforming Mars first, what's in the box. Again, game of the year for many people. So a fantastic game, not talking about how it plays, but here's what's in the box. You'll see game board, instruction manual. Here's the player cards. Look at that. That's a player card. I mean, it's it's barely considered card stock. Cubes, everything in plastic bags. Here are the cards for the games. Again, compared to Dominion where you have cards, spaces. But look at that, that is so thin. And even these cubes, which are supposed to be silver, they just feel and look cheap. You know, you give them props for printed what's inside of the box, but there's no question that you open up this box and you get an emotion, an emotion of disappointment, to be honest. And so if you don't play the game, the first thing that you do when you open the box is you're like, ah, like, I can't believe I paid this much money for that game. So now let's compare it to the other game, again, game of the year. So first thing you, you notice 
is you get a little extra sheet that's just an achievement sheet. Just a nice little touch, just one sheet. But hey, the first winners for each each player. First winners worth 100. It's kind of fun. Adds a nice little touch, and that's before you even get to the game. A nice, big, thick board. But look at this. There is a little insert for the miniatures that holds each min miniature. And again, so they can say I'm not picking on, on anyone. It's just plastic bags. But, you know, everything is in a nice plastic bag. It's not anything extravagant. But I can live with that. I'm not expecting anything magical. But then there are these little plastic things. And you can even do better than that. But I love that these are included. We shove them all in there because my nine-year-old likes to see how many she can fit in there. So again, it's not it's not being OCD saying I need to have everything stored perfectly. It was just a nice touch that they added two little containers. And again, my nine-year-old shoves them in there like a little monster, but that's okay. Look at these. These were assembled after you punch them out, but man, what a nice little touch. And look, the thickness. They they so good. And then again, cards. Nothing special. They're in plastic bags, but you just fill like you're you're taking care of a little bit. But what I want to talk about with the cards is just the thickness of them. Just I don't know how much money, extra money if it was a you know what what fraction of a cent was charged more to having these thicker cards, but when you get this you just you feel like you have a really nice quality. And again, comparing to Terraforming Mars, those little thin sheets, I don't know if you can see that, but there's depressions here. And so you drop your, your little tokens in there, your little cubes, and they stay on your player mat. So if you accidentally bump your mat, they don't slide off. And so it's that little touch that really makes you feel this emotional connection to the game, like you own something special. Now again, the suggested retail of Scythe is $10 more. But my argument is simply that once you open these two box boxes, this feels way more than a $10 game than this with the little cheap, flimsy, flimsy cards and such. But again, both of these games, games of the year. So excellent. It's not how they play. It's how you feel about owning it. And so the reason I am talking about this video is just to show you that, hey, board games are expensive, but there's some tools out there to help you understand, A, what's a great game, what's fun. You'll play these games 20 hours. You pay 50 bucks for them, you get them on sale. It's $2.50 per hour. That's great entertainment. These are excellent. They're good ways to spend time with your family. But not all games are created the same. And so just do a little bit of homework. And you want to buy purchases where you feel like you, you got something great for your money and it was, a, it was a good purchase for you and your family. So that is a comparison of Scythe and Terraforming Mars. Again, not to throw shade, but just as a tool to help you understand that board games, there are some board games out there that are really incredible, nice quality builds. And when you buy them, you feel like you have something really nice. Not just a good time, but you own something great. So that's it for this video. Later, nerds.